Well, it's a tough year for farmers, which of course translates into a tough year for harvesters as well. Founded in 1983, U.S. Custom Harvesters is an association serving as a link between the harvesters and the many people they work with. Joining us now by phone is one of U.S. Custom Harvesters Board of Directors, Dane Dolchek. Dane, thank you for joining us today. We certainly appreciate your time. Uh, let's start, of course, with a brief overview of the U.S. Custom Harvesters and what exactly you do. All right, thanks for having me, Janet. We are a member organization of, of Custom Harvesters, and we have associate members of our, our uh, companies that support us. Um, what we do is we just uh, go to farmers and, and harvest and harvest their crops, but uh, we represent the interests of, of our members that are both grain and silage harvesters. We'll go to Washington, D.C. and try and get some regulations changed and, and help with labor laws and stuff like that, as well as support the industry as a whole and try and get our members as much work as possible. And, Dan, what are the benefits to farmers when hiring a harvester? Well, the benefit to, har to farmers is that, you know, this is our profession, this is what we do. You know, farmers are very good multitaskers, but, you know, this is our specialty. What we do is come in, harvest your crop in the most efficient manner, and, you know, typically one of our biggest things facing us today is labor, and, you know, we, that is our industry. We, you know, we have the labor to come in and get your, harvest, your crop harvested in a, in a timely and efficient manner. And what are some maybe some of the things you might recommend folks consider when hiring somebody to do with a harvest? Well, there's there's many things to look at. Um, you know, as in everything that we do today, you have to make sure that that organizations have the proper support equipment and that they come with uh, the expertise, the knowledge, the background. We strive for our members to to do things in in the most uh, professional manner possible. We try to, uh, you know, school them and educate them on safety as well as regulatory changes, stuff like that. We, you know, it's important that these har that harvesters are well insured these days, as bad as it is to say, that uh, we have to make sure that we're uh, getting, the we have the proper safety nets in place as well, I guess is how you should put it. Now, Dane, I understand that you yourself are also a second-generation farmer and also just finished up harvest. So before we wrap things up, can you kind of give us a sort of a progress report on what you're seeing? Uh, yeah, we just finished up here in, <clears throat> at our job here in Pratt, Kansas. I'm going to be moving out to southwest Kansas uh, here in the next couple of days. Got a, had a real nice crop here. Uh, poor, poor protein in a lot of it because of the high-yielding wheat, and but it was good, good Good test weight, decent quality, but just the the protein with as comes with a with a really good crop just wasn't there. But uh, and looking out to Southwest Kansas, there's been a lot of a lot of issues facing that crop. Uh, we've lost about a third of our acres out there to wheat streak mosaic, and as we all know, the the freeze the damage with the with the big snowstorm this this spring will kind of take a toll on things as well. So we'll have to get out there and see exactly what we got. But I know it's there's there's not very much optimism for the farmers out there. It's, it's come pretty harsh to them. All right. Well, Dane, thank you very much for your insight. We certainly appreciate it and wish you certainly a safe harvest as you continue to move forward. Again, talking with Dane Dolchek. He's with U.S. Custom Harvesters calling us from Pratt, Kansas. As he said, heading to West Kansas to continue the harvest.